Yeah, Daniel Williams. Woo! Oh, okay, team two. Y'all the first one. Oh, he's the first one. Come on, let's just look it up. Let's just look it up. Three times you know it was This is two. This is the same guy because the same person he created. Correct me if I'm wrong. No, blood Okay, why? Okay. Well, okay. So but we here, though. I like that. Keep playing. I love it. Wow. Okay. Take it to the fun of it. First African-American. Yeah. 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 He was a witch. Oh, wait. No, you okay? You okay? I'm glad y'all know this man. First African-American to win Miss America in 1983. Oh, but that's what it is. That's the L. I gotta give it to both of them. She raised her hand first, but you said it first. I'm gonna give it to both of them. 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 Five to three. Five to three. I gave it to both of y'all. Answer the question and done. Okay. All right. Ooh, I'm scared. Because I know they're gonna. I know they're gonna. Okay. Do you want to raise your hand so we can see the hand? Okay, we're gonna raise hands. Okay. Okay. It's family too. All right. Okay. You gotta raise your hand to be called on. You gotta raise your hand to be called on. And then. Okay. I'm gonna sit up. Okay. Okay. First African American to earn a PhD from Harvard University. You are. Okay, good. Was he also a poet? I can't. First of all, John, you need to be over here. My team, no, right? Hey, where I'm at, I'm solidified, bro. I can't. I can't. Can you repeat the question? No, okay. No, you can't ask me. So, bad tech educated guys? Yes. Educated guys would be Dr. William E. Boyce. That's what's yeah. my thought, too. Are you serious? Oh, awesome. Yeah. Good job. Good job. Good job. She out there. That's what I thought, too. We own it. I thought, too. We own it. Okay. I'm going to step back in. Okay. 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 It automatically yeah. go to the next yeah. team. So what team is he on? He's on the team. My head was up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. That's yeah. Like I'm all over the place. We're going to rock it, it out. It is now five to five. The first Every team to nine. ten wins. All right, what's okay? up? Okay? All right, right here. Next. First African American to be on a U.S. coin. Go. The first what? what? African American to be on a U.S. coin. Oh, yes. Is it Native American? So it's not Native American? Right. African American. I said I'm African American too. Oh. Wait, wait, no. I'm on the team. Yeah, she go ahead. Okay. Okay. Oh, you got to go over there. She's still our team. Okay. Okay. So wait. Uh, uh, they confused me. Wow, I can't believe it. That's wrong. <laughs> No, I said the first one. Yeah. It's so cool. Abraham Lincoln had black. Yeah, I heard it. Oh, it's right. It's right. Wrong. Say the question again. King Joffrey Joffrey. First African American to win the Miss America in 1983. Oh, that's. Oh, no. First Miss America. First. Huh? Mary Capito. I knew somebody was going to get it. I'm <laughs> doing a good job, though. I'm taking my friend. Oh, no, no, no. It ain't my business. I've never heard of it. Y'all ain't going back for it, Janelle. Uh, so y'all ain't going with the school touch on. Harriet Tubman. Wait, wait, wait. No. Oh, you did? Yeah. Oh, all right. We're just going to talk to you about it. All right, I'm going to tell everybody. Chris McGannick. First African American to be on a U.S. coin. Chris McGannick. Duke Ellington. Oh yeah! Oh, that one is the only one. He was old when he died. They did a tribute. Uh, that's a tribute. Abraham Lincoln. I, 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 I need to leave. 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 I need to le
To win four gold medals and one Olympic game. First athlete, period. Like men or women? African American. First athlete athlete since. Yeah, yes, I guess it is. I'm gonna give y'all a hint. What's a dude? Michael Phelps. Oh, he's not gold winner? He didn't say African American. You know it's black. You didn't say African American. Michael Phelps is white. You said he won't. He only won three, baby. He didn't say African American. I thought she said, you said both. First athletes in 1936 to win four gold medals in one Olympic game. Jesse, what you call You gotta say. Jesse, uh, Jesse, uh, Jesse Owens. Jesse Owens won in 1936. Oh, that's a good one, though. That's what I thought. Yeah. But so you do mean? No, African American athletes. You do mean? Yes. Every question. Even though the question is saying it's a man. I think it's a good question. What definitely got this? To win four in one, right. to win four in one of the games. Yeah. All right. Look, I'm gonna say it again. First athlete since 1996 to win four gold medals in one Olympic game is Carl Lewis. Carl. That's Michael Johnson. 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 Michael
<laughs> so it is eight to six. Eight to six. Remember, we're going up to ten. So I'm all right. I raise right, one. It's a crime to know everything. Okay. Now this is a good one. Okay. First black community to receive reparation payments for the destructive for property and murders of its citizens. Rosewood. Jesus. Tell us Rose about Rosewood. <laughs> Bird. Everybody got killed. Trey had to They died. I got no money. Thank you. Reparations. Hey. Hold on. 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 Hold was cheating on her husband. Yep. And then when she got caught, practically in the act, the man had ran out the house. She told her husband and a black man had come in here and raped her. Yep. yep. So then they went to nearby Rosewood and burned it down and killed a bunch of people. Did the same thing in Hill, yeah. Michigan. Yeah, yeah. And in yeah. Idlewild, Michigan, which doesn't exist anymore, which was a resort that everybody used to go to. Then they destroyed it. Yeah, that was a very sad question. Yeah. Okay. Hard question. Next one. Nine. Awesome. Okay. Six. Did that happen in the Shut 60s? Game away, yes? Yeah. Melody. Okay. When did it happen? Before that. Happened in 1920, sir. In 1920? Yes, sir. 1920. Yeah. Right. That's okay. I mean, not in August 6, 1920. Let's go. Nine. Six. Come on. All right, y'all. Oh, we better be on hard. It's hard. Okay. That's gonna matter. <laughs> <laughs> that's gonna matter. Oh, I don't know if that was hard. You do it easy with my stuff. Yeah, I don't do it easy. All right, I got you. Go. Found it, Negro. His Negro. His guy. That she cheating. Wait, wait, wait. it, Negro History Week, which became Black History Month. W. E. B. Du Bois, man. Wow, she got it wrong. What? That's right. <laughs> That's right. That's right. That's right. Yeah, weak now. I don't think it's not on here. What? I don't think it's not on here. Let me let me redo it. Hey, I'm just Hold a messenger. Let me out. Hear me out. Hear me out. Hear me out. Wait, wait. Hold on. Hold on. Because they had a big argument because Carter G. I believe you. Carter G. Get with the website. Look at you. Look. Go look it up. Found it. Found it. Negro. History Week, which became Black History Month. So Carter G. Wilson and W. E. D. Du Bois had to split in the Negro community. Who did you say? Carter G. Wilson. Who is it? Carter G. Wilson. Pick one. And W. E. D. Du Bois. Carter G. Wilson. Yeah, you didn't say that. Come on now. I'm about to explain to you guys what happened. Okay. There was a thing called the talented tip. Everybody knows what that right, means, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. So the talented tip means the ten percent of our generation. That means the doctors, the lawyers, the educators, everybody that are movers and shakers. So people like Chris, like like Devin, like you, y'all would be a part of it. And the objective of the talented tip was was to raise up the ninety percent. That was Carter J. Wilson thought. But W. E. Boy's thought was that's not how it's going to work. It has to start with the middle planet, which is economic responsibility, which started Black Wall Street, which Spirit. started all that. So that's why it was a big split in the black community. So that's why you hear people say, I'm a part of the talent and tent, or I'm a part of the W. E. Boy's legacy. Because yeah. each part of the African American community has a call to responsibility. Before the Great Migration of the 1950s and 60s, uh -huh. that means the doctors and the lawyers and the teachers and the, they all live in the community, which made the community a stronger base foundation. But to the great height, what they call the Great White Migration, then the new people wanted the middle class, which made the poverty level up increase. Therefore, the W.E.D. Boyce method doesn't work anymore, and people don't even relate to the Carter G. Wilson. And it all started for one week. Thank you. So thank you. Thank you.